Brett. Today we're visiting the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Let's get started. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center is the official visitor center for NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. They have one of the largest collection of rockets and space memorabilia on display anywhere in the world. All right, this is the science on orbit entrance where you have lots of uh, displays on power supplies, payload operations, integration center. Uh, they have a little thing on odor filters. Uh, plus, lots of information here on the uh, a few of the rockets on display. As you walk into this first compartment, uh, it's the galley where they have uh, food. It, show, it has a display showing the food that's available. So maybe you want to try the invitation maybe with your family next, uh, next weekend. They also have information on water recovery, uh, how they have the urine processor assembly to uh, catch and, and reprocess the urine. Next, you move into an area where it looks like they have a compartment for the astronaut to do work and potentially sleep. They also have a treadmill that's mounted on the wall that the astronaut could use by propping the pole, support pole up and running in place while it appeared they were sideways. Next, you move into an area where they have the virtual combustion rack, uh, oxygen generation, oxygen generation, glove box. You also have a virtual medical rack where the human research facility provides an on-orbit laboratory that enables scientists conducting human life science research to evaluate the psychological behavior on chemical changes induced by spaceflight. This is an area where the attendees of the space camp would conduct experiments, uh, participate in different events, give them a, um, an idea of what it would be like in space. When you initially enter the center, you'll see lots of displays on the history of spaceflight, television shows, and related artwork. They also have an area for kids and adults to do uh, flight simulators, multi-axis trainer, and there's another one around the corner. There are lots of displays in virtually all areas of the facility. Uh, like with this one, this is for the hydroponics tower. Hydroponics is the process of growing plants without using soil. So this would be a method they could use on uh, off Earth to grow plants for the uh, astronauts. This is the Boeing CST-100 Starliner pressure vessel. The Starliner pressure vessel is the skeleton of the crew module and it resides inside the spacecraft's outer aerodynamic design. The Space Shuttle Pathfinder is a space shuttle test simulator made of steel and wood. It was constructed in 1977.
right, so this is the Apollo 16 command module. It was launched 1972. Came back 11 days later with its crew and 208 pounds of moon rocks. The National Geographic Theater is in the Saturn V Hall and has videos with lots of information. The Saturn V rocket, located at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, is one of three surviving examples of vehicles built during the late 1960s to launch Americans to the moon. There is also an underwater astronaut trainer on site. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for the U.S. Space and uh, Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe and follow us on our adventures, please do so. If you have any comments or suggestions for me, let me know in the comments below. We'll see you soon. This is a great place to learn more about the U.S. space program, so make sure you stop in when you're in Huntsville. We hope this video gives you some of the basic information, and we encourage you to make the trip. It is definitely worth it.